I don't know who this is for, but God is saying, cut the distractions. God says, you are so distracted and you wonder why we don't have a good relationship. He says, you wonder why you struggle to hear my voice. He says, you wonder why you feel so distant from me. He says, I am invisible. You need to focus to be able to see me, yet you're overstimulated. God says, you need to be in a zone of silence to pray to me and to hear my voice and to feel my presence. Yet there's not one moment in your life where there is silence. You're always on the phone. You're always listening to music. You're always watching a show. You're always on TikTok. You are never in a zone of silence. God says that... Ooh. <laughs> God is saying that your two most important assets are your time and your attention, and these are the two that the devil goes after the most. He says the curse of our generation is overstimulation of the senses. God says there's never a moment when you're, you're in silence. God says, he's bringing two Corinthians, it says, I'm afraid just as Eve was deceived by the serpent, you are led astray from your pure devotion to Christ. He's saying you've made your phone an idol. He's saying I wish that you would spend as much time with me as you do on your phone. Corinthians again, God's saying, examine yourself and see if you are really in the faith. He says, are you really putting me first? Are you really following my commandments? Are you really walking with me or not? God says, refocus and come back. God says the worst part of this is you don't even realize how distracted you are. God says the worst thing you can be is oblivious to it. He says you need to be aware, walk in awareness, and he needs you to come back and to make time for him in silence.